What's up YouTube, it's your boy G back in another video. So today we're just gonna unbox this sound bar and of course test it. I purchased this from Lazada. Uh, it says it's sale, so I got it for like 15,000 pesos only, Philippine pesos. But original price is ranging around 18, 19,000, even if you go to the actual Sony website. But in Abinson, I think, or online shop, you know, it's uh, discounted a little bit. This is Sony hts 40r it's a 5.1 600 watts rms soundbar with discrete satellite wireless speaker so let's go ahead and open it up right now i think it's just really bulky due to the padding and the bubble wrap i don't know if you can see this but it looks like 12 layers of bubble wrap Whew. unboxing or removing the bubble wrap is the real challenge here guys s 40R home theater 5.1 real surround 600 watts right it also has bluetooth and usb in front of the uh, base and uh, that's how you connect it's wireless for the rear the only thing that i don't like about this is it doesn't support dolby atmos itself you know even even dolby digital plus it doesn't support that it's just really a basic dolby audio you know 5.1 also, the biggest uh, cons, I think, it doesn't have a built-in Wi-Fi capability or like a Chromecast or something, right? So I do have a TCL Raydance, which is, you know, cheaper, albeit it's just 3.1, but that's Dolby Audio or Dolby Atmos capable already. And it also has a Wi-Fi for Chromecast. This doesn't have that, right? This is like the old school stuff. But let me go ahead and open this box up. All right, we got the slim and thick, but that is the Sony. Doesn't have any battery inside, but I believe it already included the battery there. We have the startup guide, of course, and this is, I believe, the actual manual operating instruction. We also have the wall mount template. All right, so as you can see, it's labeled HDMI here. So this cable, I would assume is HDMI cable, of course. So that's a good thing, you already have an HDMI kit cord, some of the sound bill out there doesn't have included HDMI, so that's a good one. Power cable, another power cable, you need two power for both, right, for the rear speaker and for the bass. So that's another power cord. Lastly is the batteries, right, so this is the battery for the remote. All right, now what do we have here? I believe this is like the wireless receiver, wireless amplifier. So on the back of it, you will see there's a power, right? They can turn it on or turn it off. A link button and then port, the proprietary port for the left and right surround, right? It says surround or surge speaker only for SS, SS40R, right? So just for this one, this is the power connector and a lot of vents All right now this is the wireless amplifier again you will have to connect it you have a branding there you will have to connect it to the rear speaker to make them wireless so you can also wall mount this as you can see you can just put it on the wall like that or you can just put it on the table this is now our sound bar right i believe this is a 35 inch in length so let's go ahead and uh, unwrap it it's actually not that heavy but not that light as well. I think it's just the appropriate um, weight, right? Half to this length, right? In the front, as you can see, it comprised with this um, metal grill here, divided into three, which is a pretty good design, right? It's pretty unique. And it has this speaker. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a speaker here, uh, a, a port, I think. Doesn't look like a tweeter. A speaker again, a couple of ports, and then another speaker and then a port. So that's for the left, right, and center channel. Now on the top, you will see the model number, S40R 5.1 real surround total 600 watts, right? Because others are just claiming virtual surround and whatnot, but this one is real. USB and Bluetooth. Now this is the one that I'm wondering, USB is very old school, right? 
wireless rear speaker. On the back of this sound bar, unlike many other sound bar that you may have uh, seen already, it doesn't have anything. It just has a lot of ports for the screw, right? So those are just screw holes, as a matter of fact. And then some wall mount holes like this. Uh, you have two wall mounts. Every hole that you're seeing there are just for screws, right? There are, they appear to be Phillips screws, right? And then nothing else. No other connectivity, no clutter, which is pretty nice, right? There are no ports on the back of this sound bar, right? The only thing that you will see is this proprietary cable here, which is a little bit dangerous though. As you can see, this one is permanent here. So be careful because if you cut that accidentally, you twist this, you unplug that, whatever, um, it's defective, it's broken, right? You'll have um, Sony to repair it, ready or replace that. But yeah, I wish this could have been uh, a removable um, you know, port as well like this. So you can just simply unplug it and plug it if you wanted to. So one satellite speaker right here for the surround. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, it's actually a little bit bigger than I thought. I thought it's just gonna be small, but in reality, it's even bigger than the actual uh, left channel or right channel of the actual sound bar, right? So that's good. This is for surround and it has a full range speaker again and a port on the bottom. So it says SS S4TR speaker system in made in Vietnam. Now remember, even the satellite um, speakers are actually connected using this proprietary connector that you're gonna plug on the back of the wireless system. Subwoofer is decent in size. All right, so as you can see, subwoofer is a uh, pretty big, right? But it's not like square or uh, other subwoofer out there. It's uh, like an elongated, like an old school, like a, like a little PC. Let's remove this box here so we can clear it up and start to set it up. Now that I think about it, it's actually pretty big, but yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, as you can see, that's the port. And on the top, it says demo there, but you do have some touch sensitive panel here for power source, Bluetooth connection and minus and plus for the volume on the top you have a little sony logo there and it's actually wood right it's kind of like an old school vibe on it i think this speaker is pretty much designed before you know kind of like an old school one here's the back of the speaker you have some information there like hdmi dolby audio and then uh, the proprietary port for the front speakers, right, center, left, essentially the sound bar. And then you have the input, which is analog in, HDMI out, and TV in. So you also have optical, right, HDMI and analog in. Now, just one HDMI, you don't have an HDMI in. So it's just HDMI out, TV arc, and TV in for optical and analog. It's, it's very like uh, cost effective, you know, for ports and other stuff, right? And it's also like older version, older design. So let's see if the sound will actually compensate for the lack of technology. This volume 60, maximum is 100. volume to 70 this is 70 now
right now we're back in my office here now if you notice earlier uh, we were on our living room right uh, it's quite open space though and I don't think this soundbar with its 600 watts you know claim RMS power is adequate on that one I mean it's it's actually very loud right when you reach 70 75 80 it's like crazy loud but me uh, personally I don't like you know going above 50 for volume for you know for like speaker because you know it, it's it's I feel that like they're like getting tired right uh, playing music at that volume and you might introduce some you know some distortion or something although I haven't really uh, heard any distortion yet but on this uh, speaker I now put this back on my office right so again this is the Sony S40R, right? 5.1 reels around there. I uh, don't mind that other sound bar. It's just a TCL, uh, old one that I reviewed before. But this is now connected to this television via HDMI. Now, this is a Samsung old television. If you have something like this, uh, make sure that when you go to your Netflix or to your um, you know, streaming app or something, uh, make sure that you go to its settings, right? To the sound expert and make sure that uh, the digital output audio is set to Dolby Digital, right? Like that because by default, it's not, it's just on PCM. So make sure it's just like that. Now, of course, on other, um, you know, much later, you know, or, or latest television, uh, rather, um, you can you can have a lot of options there to really like select digital as well, or even, um, you know, it's very easy. It will automatically do it. Now, this speaker again only support Dolby Digital, right? PCM, of course, and Dolby Digital. That means it doesn't support Dolby Digital uh, Plus, right? So you don't have a Dolby Atmos here. Now, one good sign that you're also set on PCM, if you know, if you forgot to put it on um, Dolby Digital, this will show as um, spatial, right? Spatial audio. So that means it's just stereo. So make sure that it's 5.1. Now for the rear channels, I put it here, right? There's a speaker stand here. So that's the right um, channel right there. I just put it on a stand. And uh, the other one is just on the uh, corner there. Now, uh, don't mind my office; it's real like chaotic, as you can see. But yeah, that's that's my home office slash gaming room, and I just put it here. All right. Now let's go ahead and uh, play some tunes. Oh, by the way, this the subwoofer. Subwoofer is far on that corner there, as you, as you notice, right? That's the one lighting up, uh, mute. It's currently muted, but yeah, the speaker, I put it there. And again, it's connected by HDMI. So let's try to play some Netflix 5.1 and uh, we can actually um, test some music as well later on. Now, the bad thing about my, um, my TV here, the built-in um, YouTube app doesn't really support 5.1, you know, it's nuts. So you also, I need to consider that if your TV sucks, you know, if your if your built-in YouTube is not really good, might as well get a, a different uh, TV, right? Or like a streaming device such as uh, Amazon Fire Stick or something like that, right? But the Netflix does, so it has 5.1. Let's go ahead and test it. It's gotta be against the rules. You'll feel differently when you meet her. <laughs> Current volume is 77. You can live for days with a gunshot. Yeah, don't, 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 don't speak that either. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
about the times that I did you wrong I just want you by my side when I get real gone Feel it's been a little while since we got along yeah. We've been playing stupid games, the situation rotates And they say communication, safe relations, okay Medicated how I'm patient, wasting time in the way Cause I can see it on your face I've been tossing, turning, staying up on it all right so that's it guys uh, i've lowered the volume down to 30 right now 30 earlier it was actually just 60 right that very loud one uh that was just actually 60 um 65 but i lowered it down to 30 right now hopefully it's not too loud uh but yeah let me know your uh thoughts as well on the sound uh for me uh, let me lower the volume down more let me put it on 20. all right so final thoughts on this one right my my opinion my thoughts for the speaker this is actually absolutely powerful speaker right it's a very very powerful speaker now it's actually a shame though that it doesn't support much right you know sony um they're you know a very high quality product but what they typically do is they cost they, they, they uh, cost cut right if they wanted to offer you like a, a, a lower your you know or like an affordable um product they will usually sacrifice a lot of stuff it's it's basically like features and something it's not really like um uh what i call this like quality so for the sound quality itself it's really still good right it's it's absolutely bananas um it's very very loud this one feels a uh, very um what i call this very clear so it's actually good on movies right on dialogues because it's very clear and it has a lot of trouble as well right so what i can uh, describe is its sound profile is a little bit bright right it's a little bit brighter then my JBL 9.1, which is really, really warm. Now, for the price itself, it's I think it's a little bit expensive, right? Because if you add a couple more bucks on it, you can actually get like a Dolby Atmos capable one already. I also have like a TCL um, Ray Dance, which is just 3.1, but it's actually longer, more prettier, and uh, supports Dolby Atmos, it has two HDMI port, it's kind of like latest and high tech already. Now this one, uh, it's it's like an old school speaker, right? Uh, you know, when, when, when the sound bar are just initially kicking it up, it only has one HDMI port, as you've seen, and then one optical, you know, aux. So it doesn't have a, an HDMI uh, in, just an HDMI arc. Not that it's like a big deal, but you know, it is what it is and um yeah it doesn't have any dolby digital uh plus right or dolby atmos or any other dolby other than dolby digital which is like the bare bone 5.1 inside a compressed channel right of a of a stereo or two channel but yeah it's really good if you can get this on a sale right I, i've gotten this for about uh, 14,999 which is originally it's around 19,000 so it's a little bit sale I think it's a good deal but again if you can actually um, save more or wait just you know save more money and get a more uh, robust one I've seen the JBL for example it was actually say like 49 freaking percent so I bought it for like almost 50,000 before but right now I can see that it's just around 30,000 a 45% discount, I think. So that is also a deal, right? Uh, a great deal, the JBL 9.1 bar. But yeah, but that's it for today, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions, any any suggestion. Uh, like this video if if this uh, if you like this. I uh, hope this helps you in your purchase decision. Subscribe if you're not subscribed in the channel yet. I review and unbox things like this that I uh, you know buy uh, personally. Again, I just bought this personally, and this is not a sponsored video. So subscribe if you're into this kind of um, reviews and uh, unboxing. All right. 
But that's all for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and see you on my next one. Peace.